What's up guys, Daniel here. A few weeks ago I asked you which version of Paper Wings you'd like to learn to play. First one was a faster tempo. The other had more open strings, sounded a little more acoustic. That's the one you guys chose, so that's the one I'm gonna teach. But stick around to the end of the video, I have a third version that I need some help with. Uh, Ghost Note Symphony is related. So let's get started. Go ahead and tune your guitar half step down so it sounds like mine and you can play along. I'm going to show you how to play the intro first and this is the same way you play the chorus and the bridge. Sounds like this. show you is the strumming pattern and forgive me I've seen videos recently from a very popular youtuber named Brandon saying the down up down up strumming method is for noobs but I don't know how else to teach it so I'm gonna be a noob with you the strumming pattern for this part is gonna be down 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 up up down down up, down up. just keep that progression in mind as you're strumming through the first chord we're gonna use is an E5 power chord that's gonna be 7th fret A 9th fret D and G and you're gonna leave B and E open for the duration of this song. So we can do that strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. From here, you're gonna move your index finger down one fret to the sixth fret of the A string, and we're gonna do a chord change in the middle of this strumming pattern. It's gonna go down, 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 up. And on that up strum, we're gonna to switch to the 11th fret A, 13th fret, D and G. And that's again on the up strum. Up, 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 down, down, up, down. So again, same strumming pattern, you're just switching chords in between. Next chord up is going to be a C sharp 5. That's 4th fret A, 6th fret D and G. And then ending on an A5, open A, 2nd fret D and G. Play that progression throughout the intro, chorus, and the bridge. So all together. And that's how you play that part. Next up is the verse, and there are three parts to this. So the first part's gonna sound like this. So we're going to start with the C-sharp 5. Again, that's 4th fret A, 6th fret D and G. We're going to do two down strums followed by a muted down strum. 1, 2, mute. And to get that muted down strum, all you're going to do is take the pressure off of the strings on your fretting hand. And as you come down to strum on the strings, you put your palm on top of the strings so it gets that muted sound. After that, it gives you a little break to switch over to your next chord, which is going to be an E major. Open E, second fret A and D, first fret G. Again, B and high E are open. And here we're going to strum down, up, down, down, up, down. Next chord after this is going to be a B5. That's going to be second fret A, fourth fret D and G. And this one, during the strumming pattern, we're going to do two chord changes. Sounds like this. So, starting on that B5, you're going to go down, down, then down, up, and you're going to switch to a C sharp 5 on that up strum. Then we're going to do a muted down strum, just like we did before, and then switch to an A5, open A, 2nd fret, D, and G. And you're going to finish off the strumming pattern with up, up, down, 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 down. One more time. And then all together. twice. Next part I'm going to show you is almost exactly the same as that, but one additional chord in between the C sharp 5 and the E. Sounds like this. So 
with just one additional chord. And that's going to be an E5 power chord, just with the 7th fret A, 9th fret G, and then the D string is muted so it doesn't ring out. So we're still going to do the C sharp 5 as down, down, but instead of doing a muted down strum, we switch to that E power chord, and you're going to go down, up, muted down strum. And then you're going to switch to the E chord. And this one, before we went down, up, down, down, down. Now, because we have that additional chord, we're going to go up, up, down, down, down. Just makes an easier transition to continue the strumming in time. Then you're going to play the rest the same as you did before. So all together. Almost the same as that, but the ending changes. So when you get to that B5 chord, you're gonna hang out on it and strum down, 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 down. Then we're gonna switch to an A5. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. B5 again. And then we're gonna go A5 and then switch to a B5 in the middle of the strumming pattern. That's the part that leads into the chorus. So all together. You might know that the original guitarist on Siren's song, Chris Chassis, Chase, can't remember how it's pronounced, did his own cover of Paper Wings acoustically. I did try to learn that one, but I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I'm still trying. But the way he played this part was like this. Which also sounds really nice. So if you want to do that picked version, it's still going to be the same chords, B5 and A5. But what you're going to do when you get to the B5 chord is strum it once. Then go E, B, and then A, D, E, B. With no one else. And then you switch to the A5. Round to catch you falling. So you're just going to continue that picking pattern. A, D, D, B, A, D, E, B. With no one else around to catch you falling. Five again. Down, I'm looking at you. And then here you go into the strumming. Down. And that's the same way we did it before. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. And that leads into the chorus, which you know how to play if you learn the intro. And that's it for the lesson, but I do have a few things I want to talk about. If you don't care to listen, thank you for watching. You can see other Rise Against tutorials here in the card or here. It's going to be somewhere around here. Uh, but the few things I want to talk about for those two of you that want to stick around. One, if you were one of the people that wanted to play the faster tempo version of this song, all you got to do is take out the B and high E strings and play the same power chords I showed you with a faster tempo. another lesson with that version I can do that too. Second thing, I did learn some of these parts but not well enough to put them in a video. I want to get those things down and I'll probably make a complimentary video. Um, I also want to learn the solo that uh, is played in the Chris version. Once I have that down I'll put the tabs up on my website and I'll try to make a complimentary video. The last thing, the thing I need help with. If you or anyone you know, YouTuber or personal friend, just someone you know that knows how to play a string instrument, some drums, or uh, piano, I want to try to make a Ghost Note Symphonies version of this song. I started transposing it with a capo in a way that I thought uh, Rise Against would. It would sound something like this. to have 
have some strings and backing instruments as an instrumental, like if you ordered Ghost Note Symphonies off of Wish. So if you know anybody that may want to do something like that, please let me know. Uh, shoot me an email, my email's in the description below. Or you can leave a comment with maybe another YouTuber that does something like that, and I can reach out to them myself. And that's all I've got. Thank you for making it this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to learn in the future. See you in the next one.